Uh, and Minister, I want to commend you in all of your work so far. You're doing great work and, and it's greatly appreciated. Indeed, mental health is an issue that I and my rural colleagues in our private members' motion in December, when we noted that COVID-19 um, was having a huge impact on people, we raised this very issue. We know that mental health is a serious issue in this, in this state. Without ever looking at any pandemic and the effects that that's having, we've always grappled with, with getting to grips with mental health. We also know that there needs to be a significant amount of work done to address the mental health fallout for students at primary and second level. And I know there's a lot of uncertainty with the Leaving Cert students and I worry for them. I have uh, mentioned it to Minister Norma Foley in a briefing I had, and I do hope that some certainty will be given to those students as soon as possible. Last week, I submitted a parliamentary question asking the Minister for Education if the National Educational Psycholog Psychological Service, NEPS, is sufficiently resourced and what plans were around recruiting staff to NEPS to deal with the increase in psychological distress being caused to students as a result of COVID. COVID-19 related restrictions. I want to welcome the fact that in her reply, the Minister confirms that NEPS are providing students and services aimed at managing stress and anxiety and panic attacks, and that the number of sanctioned NEPS psychologists currently stands at 221, which includes an additional 17 psychological posts to uh, support the well-being of school communities. But I feel there's much more needed here. I really do. I feel that we have a tsunami coming at us, and it affects all, all people of all ages and I do feel we, we need to be prepared. While progress in this area is welcoming, welcome Minister, I do find it alarming that the share of health funding being allocated to mental health in recent years has ranged from 5.7% to 6.3%. While in 2019 it was 6.3%, it will fall dramatically to 5.2% in 2021. And I'm just asking for that to be looked at because we have an expected significant rise in demand for supports and services in the wake of this pandemic. Gar Matt Gibb.